Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> I need to get my list ready because this one is this it's one very took, important. This one took a while. took a while for me yeah. to get it right in my head but I'm at a point now where I'm happy with the list I've got and I'm happy that the order they're in yeah and I feel like if there's any I've missed I'm going to never forgive myself because this is so oh, and likewise as well but I, I also think that if we we, we both we both won't have missed one no so I should we go through the same process as per usual yeah uh, I want you to start on this one so shall we do my 10 through 6 then yes please stop mucking about Stop fucking about it. Uh, where am I looking? So, this is in a particular order. Mm-hmm. This is something I spent a long time on. Number 10 for Tom. I might have forgotten some of the strike. Medal of Honor Frontline. <sighs> yeah. I've forgotten quite a few years now. Yeah. I just know I have. PS1 again, I think it was. Maybe PS2 early days. Can't remember exactly. But the the one where we were stuck on the beach in Normandy for about six months trying to get off it. Yeah. Just kept getting absolutely sniped and no scope from other people. But yep. that is one of the best games. That was one of those games that I always remember just struggling on. But it was one of the, where you get the satisfaction at the end. For, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. That's quite a good one. Number nine, Fallout 3. Never played it. You know, that, honestly, I don't really tend to play these games. That, do you know what it's, A lot you, of my games, there's you know, a theme. Do you know what the premise is for this one? Yeah, nuclear war and it. You're, you, you, you live underground in a bunker, it's all you've ever known. Nuclear Armageddon, a hench in the bunker. And then you I, get, I like it. I've seen you play it. I've, I've honestly, I had so it. much fun in that game because you can just literally go around and kill anyone you want. That's the perfect game for me because you know I just do that in every game anyway, don't I? So there's a bit in that Even game. Even on FIFA. There's a bit in that game, Sam, where it's called Ten Penny Towers and it's a hotel that all the people, it's like a still a fully functioning hotel, got armed guards and everything. Loads of different plot points in there. And you've got to speak to people and do stuff. There's a shop where you go in, you've got to buy guns for your bullets. All the way around. <laughs> um, and like, if you, if you don't, if you keep firing your gun and don't oil it, it breaks. It's quite in-depth. Yeah. But what I did was... It's quite old though, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's probably about 06 or something. Maybe quite old. But when I went into the shop, the lady there was like, there's literally one woman, one woman on her own, right? And she's like, sorry, you don't have enough. I'm trying to sell like bits of like bottle caps for fucking bullets for my gun. And I thought... This is straight. I'm not. I'm not doing this. So I shut the door. Literally kicked kicked her head off. Right, you can kick people's heads off in that game, right? Kick. Right. So after the little um, technical issue there, we are back. Tom, carry on with your list, please. You've just given me number. I think what I said was number eight, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Well, I'll be- yeah. basically, what I was saying is the game is that good. You can literally just kill anybody. I killed so many people that the game didn't work anymore. I killed. I closed off every plot point. Because I just emptied the hotel, honestly, with like batons and everything. Fucking I've got fun. a feeling that Hitman's in your top three. Well, you are mistaken. Okay. Largely because I've forgotten about it. Bollocks. Um, <laughs> right, I'm doing a quick swap. That's fine. Okay. So I'm doing a, I'm doing a one in one out sort of scenario here. Um, oh yeah. Um, yes. Cool. Okay. Number seven. Number seven is. I'm sure you've played this game with me before. Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers on PS2, where yeah. you could oh, where you could pick, you could be like, um, you could be Legolas, and I could be Aragorn, or yeah. whatever. You could just wreck shop. We go into the um, Moria. No, as well as that, but it's um, the way it's shut. It was made by those who are dead. Yes, and the dead shall keep it. Yes, and just absolutely just annihilate people in there. That oh. used to be a lot of fun. That game, didn't it? Yeah. Oh no, I forgot like three games. Well, I'm 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 calling an audible <laughs> here, and I'm changing one straight that straight out. Okay, my next one. I should do mine on the fly. Okay. My next one, SmackDown vs. Raw, the first one. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. That game was beautiful, wasn't yeah, it? it, it was. We have so many good memories of playing so that game. What on now? That was my number six. All right, okay. So you've done ten, your 10 through 6, yeah. 9, 7. 10, 9, 7. 10, 9, 8, 7. That was my number 7. SmackDown vs. Raw was R- number run 7. Run through me again. Medal of Honor Frontline, Fallout 3, Two Towers, SmackDown vs. Raw. Thank you. Number 6. Yeah. FIFA Street. Do you remember that game? Yeah. That was that was revolutionary. Fief, was, can Fief, you name the blogs that were on the front cover? FIFA Street was my choice before you reminded me of Hitman Blood Money. So number six, Hitman Blood Money. Okay. FIFA Street is now spurged from humanity and it's shit. <laughs> um, was it Ronaldinho and someone else on the front? Uh, from what my memory was, it was four people. Yeah. Crouch. Really? Ronaldinho, Messi, Rooney, I think. It's a good game, that. It's a damn good game. And the music was amazing as well, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. The music was but beautiful. Everyone looked fucking weird, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, my... Uh, 
that was my only game I'm budging for, by the way. Okay. I am not moving for anyone else. That my top my five through one are the five greatest games ever made. I'm trying to think which ones I'm gonna take out for the one that I like. Well, uh, and you've not seen my top five yet, so it's guaranteed the stuff you've uh... Okay, my honourable mention. Yep. Fours or three. Okay. Do you remember when we used yep. to do them speedway oh, races? You've just reminded me of one that I've forgotten. <laughs> uh. No, I have probably got that one as my number five. It's well, the one that you forgot. Uh, yeah, do you remember when Forza we used to get as many AI cars as we could possibly do? It I think it was four yeah. And we had me and you as cars at the front. Yeah. Do the big speedway, the circle one. We just handbrake on, let them uh, all go around. We we turn around. Turn around and crash them. But then they <laughs> crash them. Yeah. Crash them. But then you see them come around the corner like Tom. Here they come. There's like 40 of them and it's just. Gish, 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 gish. No, it's so much fun. The best thing we ever did in that game was we picked the worst car with the worst horsepower. We both had the same yes, thing. We had a, we did a qu race. quarter mile drag and drew three decimal places to the second. It was a draw. That's never going to happen in the history, is it? But we, we like literally we, we hit top speed and then just thirty seconds. It was, eh, yeah, it's like a like a mini or something on it. But I, I can't believe we drew that drag Lotus race. Or something. Yeah, probably. So damn funny. Okay, so number ten, please, sir. That was my previous number ten. Coming in at number ten as a last minute replacement. Yep. Revenge of the Sith. Oh my good Christ, what a game. The way you did like, the story mode and stuff, and you could have the... Um, I was going to say Jedi Power Battles, but that's another game, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was where you could just do like Tekken, couldn't it? And you could just yeah. have like... Do you just run around with um, Obi and Anakin, oh, and it's like, come on, R2. That was a great... I can't believe yeah. Sam, that's not in my list, you know. Oh, I forgot. There's going to be so many that I forgot, but... Yep. Do you remember this game, number nine? Mm. SWAT. PC. Do you remember? Yes. Where you could send in the dogs and you could breach the doors and everything. What? Oh my god. That's that. I've got two now in my head that should have been in my top ten, but they haven't been. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is no. This is going to be more of a discussion than a top. We, 10. We, we need. We need to print the. We need to print. We need to put the the uh, finalized. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back because uh, uh, it, when when the video is on, we'll have the top ten there because we're going to flip and change so many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, it needs yeah. to be like crossed out and stuff. Yeah. So go on. Number eight, Sims Two. Okay, yep, yep. Because we had a lot of good, lot of good time on that one. It's quite, quite sadistic. I remember, um, I remember like inviting someone around just to beat the shit out of him, and then he'd go home again, and then ring him up and say, "Come round for a brew," and then meet him in the garden, well, meet him in the garden, and just tackle him. Like, we made, we made a friend with the neighbour, and then built a fence around him in the garden, so he died. Because he couldn't get out. Do you know what's worse than that? And we played the piano on repeat. We built, we built a picket fence around them so they couldn't get out, and then put a bench there, and then just sat and watched him die. That's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> that's really. When you think back, that's really sadistic, isn't it? And we were like, just like a eight, part, just a part bench, and there was people coming over, just sitting there, just watching him like. Flies on him, pissing himself and crying like. <laughs> wow, that was bad. <laughs> Quite bad, that. Yeah, it was funny though. Yeah, and then like yeah, we had um, we always used to spend loads of money, didn't we, on the um stuff for the garden, our yeah. big slides and uh, fireworks and stuff. I remember that time as well when um, because random stuff would set on fire, and it's just like the pixel of where it was would just set on fire, and it's yeah. like we got too much stuff. So I remember that time when you were in your bed. And the other half of the bed just sat on fire, but like just just the other <laughs> half of the bed was on fire, and he's like, <laughs> "You're like, wake up, you prick!" He's like, yeah, I remember. I think it might have been the same Sims game, but we played it. I can't remember whose house it was at, but we were all just dicking around. We made the, like, the tallest house possible, as many floors as we yeah, could, yeah, but yeah. very narrow. Yeah, and the top floor just filled it with fridges, and you couldn't get out. <laughs> <laughs> it was about nineteen fridges just locked yeah. up like that. It was so funny. I remember once as well when I can't remember what I did. Why, why it happened but my guy job used to carpool and he just didn't come back I was like what what have I got to do now he <laughs> was gone as like, he just died or something on the way there just, like rolled it on the 55 probably yeah I could be wrong on my next one um seven yep FIFA 08 yeah and is that the one where it has the sound effects that you could buy I'm or was it 06 <laughs> I'm just five. picking it mainly as it's just a FIFA in general. It might have been the one where you add the sound effects, the big football, the one where the fly away and you kick it, it's going. Rah, rah. Yeah, when you hit the bar, it went doing. Oh, I'd like to think it was around that era of 05, yeah. 06, 07 ballpark, sort of. Yeah. I'm not too sure though. But that, well, that, that would that, have also. That's coming in as a FIFA, just as general. That would have also. It would have been had, Torres. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so fair play. I hope you've got this in your list, Tom. Go on. I'm just going to make sure I've done it right. Number six, mm. Simpsons Hit and Run. 
No, not really my list. Oh, for God's sake, Tom. That's three. You spent an hour on this list. I have. I have. That's three in my list, and that's one that's not there. So, um, do the one that what this probably isn't in your list. This is another one that I've remembered that should be in my list because you said to me, Forza. Yeah. Burnout 3. Remember Burnout where you just used to crash cars for the, like the whole purpose was just to smash the shit out of cars. Is that in your list? Number 5, Burnout Crash. Right, so that was your... You've done your 10 through 5, yeah? Yeah, so you just do 5 through 2 now. Right. Burnout Crash. Do you remember we always just go down that hill and but, there'd be like a 6 laner it, both six, ways. 6 and laner just go, and there would always be about five cars and there'd be a petrol or one, wouldn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we used to, yeah, you wait three seconds and there'll be a yeah, tanker. Yeah. Um, number five, the only game in my entire life that I've completed, 100%. The only game that I can legitimately say that I've 100% completed every aspect of the game. Well, wow. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. All oh, right, okay. Damn it. That I spent years on that game. I am the best Hydra pilot in the world. <laughs> Honestly, I spent so much time on that game. Uh, number four, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the 05 version. Yep. So many things about that game because it's all the clones and yep. that's my favourite era of Star Wars. Hero Death and Match. Hero Death Match. And you could do, when you were like a stormtrooper or whatever, um, you could go up to someone and press up on the D-pad and to make them follow you so you could go, you could pick like, well, oh, yeah, come with me. Come we've with lost me. that command post. Get four dudes and just run. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. That used to be in my life, that. Yeah. My top three of the best three games ever made. Okay. I will not yield on any of, the, any of these. Number three, yeah, number three. Yeah, James Bond Nightfire. Fuck. Yeah, I did. You have forgot something. Tactical Fuck! Sni- Snow Guard, Black Ops, Samurai, Tactical Sniper. Ob job. Ob job. Um, the one with the cable cars. Remember you the see? first opening mission you did in the DB, in the, in in the, the Vantage, the, whatever Vantage, it is. Yeah. yeah. That 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 map though with the um the 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 snow house and the castle yeah. when you used to get in the cable car and just like snipe people. We could legitimately play that today, by the way. We can download it on Xbox. Really? Yeah. I think it's about six quid. So I think we should go and do that after this video. Because <laughs> we... Get, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Throw this at the camera. Yeah. Right. Fuck you. Um, I'm going to do my two through one. Because why not? Okay, yeah. whatever. Because I'm, I'm in the zone here. Number two, Pokemon Emerald. Oh, oh no. You really not thought... It. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Neither of us have thought this through. Pokemon Emerald, best Pokemon game I've ever played because it had new and old on it. Yeah. And I, I didn't complete it, but it's one of those ones where it's just awesome. Which ones did we play? Ruby and Sapphire? Ruby, Sapphire, and Leaf Green, Fire Red, and Blue and Yellow. Blue and Yellow were the first ones. We had the big, big, chonky Game Boys. But the Game Boy Advance games, we had Leaf Green and Fire Red. You had Leaf Green, I had Fire Red. And that was the Bulbasaur Charmander bollocks, right? And it pissed me off no end with you because you'd always get to a mint place and just start again because you got bored. And it's like, why? You've waited so much time and you just like, pew, as we start it. And also... And I was very young. And yeah. Just, do, you remember, do you remember as well when it was, I think it was you who said you got off the boat and it set off and it had the HMO one cut on it so you couldn't complete the game? It's like, well, it can't have been programmed to do that. Well, it made me laugh that. Um, I don't remember. Number one, best game I've ever played in my entire life. I'll give you one clue. I used to have it upstairs in a big gold tin. Yeah, I know, straight away. Go on. Battle for Middle Earth. Two. Two. Greatest game I've ever played. Because I'm alone and I play PC games on my own. But that's the greatest game I've ever played. I remember. Literally, I just, remember, uh, just yeah. pl- planking the... Um, what them, were your favourite skirmishes to do? Them, the, plant them Rivendell archers on top of Helm's Deep with Legolas and you can just literally... Um, can we play wait, that? What, can we still play that? Yeah, I've got it. Um, the cold, the archers, or the mint ones, you had to spend like 1,200 quid per six dudes. Um, they you could put them on the top sort of rung of Helm's Deep, and they could hit any corner of the map. So as soon as you know, they, they there'd be nothing for twenty minutes because you know they were just getting loads of orcs ready, and then just come running at you like that, and they just go, bing, they just go, oh yeah. But then you have like you could just send. My favorite bit about that game was when you, you can could, get all the heroes on the horses. Yeah, heroes on the horses, and you could just send like Legolas Aragorn Gimli into the woods and just start wrecking shop and stuff. Yeah. That's like the greatest game. I thought it's such a shame that um, Star Wars Empire at War on PC wasn't as good as that because it was the same premise yeah, it but was. You, you couldn't just get like Vader in a ship and FO yeah. and stuff like that so they need to start doing the free roam games like that like, well that that's just, the, just, just be the like new one Kylo that, in the there. new one that's come out it's free roam but it's not a story we're familiar with mm. but if it was free roam and it could just be Anakin and just fly to Naboo and just nut someone in the marketplace and fly over to Coruscant and have mm. a party and stuff that would be the best game ever wouldn't it if you could literally just fly into the atmosphere and then just like ghosty out your ship and something like that. <laughs> like, in, like in GTA when you go dead quick on your bike and just bail and just skittles people like that. 
Imagine doing that on Cor- Coruscant, like Cor- tea time. Coruscant, like yeah, like when there's the um, the bit where there's that bar where he's going after that Zam we're selling clothes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just jump out. <laughs> oh, I, I want to make that game. That game needs to be made. Right, your four through one, please, sir. Oh, yeah. Your five was what? Sorry, burnout crash. Yes, I think it was called that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Definitely wasn't. But okay, I know what you mean. Are you sure? It's burnout three, wasn't it? You're on about. Okay, I'm, I was like fully sure it's called burnout crash. Oh, it, might, it might actually be. I might be taking a piss though. Hang on. Burnout three. Ford slash crash. I spelled that wrong. <laughs> three. I spelled burnout so wrong it didn't even appear as burnout. <laughs> uh, was it Sam? I'm going to show you just the front cover here. I'll know. Yeah. Take down. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Four. GTA four. Do you remember when we first got that? That I couldn't. That put, was a game changer. I couldn't put two GTAs in my. I didn't. I deliberately waited six months after that came out to buy it so I could do well in my GCSEs because all my guys, all my mates had it, and I knew from hearing what they're saying at school, if I bought it, I would be dead within a month of just playing that nonstop. I remember we used to do the bus bandits online, so we would get it and to get like six of us, and I'd drive the bus and we'd just go around and just like sco- yeah. scoping people in the streets yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that, just for no reason. I remember spending a good forty to forty-five minutes trying to get that coach onto the swing glitch in the park. Do you remember how hard it was to get a car into it? <laughs> I think how much you were revving as well to get yeah. over the ramp and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's one, like, nine of us on there. Like. That game, that swing glitch was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I used to love it when you'd, just, you'd get set up but then clip a building so you'd just start proper like I'll, I'll never forget when we first got it, we were sat in that front room. Yeah. And I remember we got a yellow Carrera because we did the cheat yeah. straight away. Yeah, as you would. Um, and we just we were just amazed at the graphics and the yeah. water. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We just, yeah. All, we, all we kept doing was just driving dead quick Say this is oncoming traffic here. Yeah, we were there on the furthest lane yeah, yeah. to them, just getting dead close and just pressing Y near them. So you just go under the car and bail yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And we still do the same thing years later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How old's that game now? Well, I think it's about six years since five came out. Legit, because that came out when I was at uni. So I think it came that out came in thirteen. Thirteen. So, oh, eight, nine, maybe. Probably, maybe something before. Number three, about from the left too. Good man. Good man. Nothing else needs to be said about that. Just, oh my God, just get um, Boromir and stuff and just, uh, I think one of my favourite bits about that was when you could have the dudes on the wall. Yeah. And you could have the little ladders and things like that. Oh, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good stuff. And then Smackdown versus Raw 08. Two. Two. I get, was, that, was that the first game we realised you could nail the ref with the ladders and stuff and just, <laughs> out, remember? Yeah. Just that, has got the Brother, best roster. Brothers of Destruction. Yeah. Um, Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Hardies and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one. I work, can I see if I can... Right, so I know what you've said so far. I know what you've missed. Yeah, I know what I've missed. Your FIFA away is counting as a general FIFA and sort kind of, of delegate. GTAs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've forgotten another complete and another Will amazing be. game. Another honourable mention before I get my number one. Go on. Red Dead. Oh, the new one? Yeah. It's that good, isn't it? Combined. That good. First one. Yeah. I, I've never not played that game not gone to a game of cards got rivered got up and just shot in between the eyes and run away like, well, I, what we... I, did, I did that I did that um, in, the, in the new one I was playing in the bit that looks like New Orleans mm-hmm. and the guy beat me in a hand that I didn't play very well to be fair because I wasn't that arsed but I literally stood up and then got a knife like that and threw it but let go like here yeah. and, uh, how out of order is that just to go it's so funny. My favorite thing to do was is on the first one, me and um, Dom, we kept calling the horses to come to us in the middle of nowhere, but there was a massive slope down it. Yeah, they stack it. So we just no, we kept calling the horses to each to us, and we just kept punching them down this hill. Yep. We got about nine. My two things I used to do was go a little faster on my horse and pistol it in the head and just scorpion down the hill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that time when me uh, and the lads, we spent a good hour taking it in turns, and I did it, and I'll never forget that this, is, this should go on my CV, that I killed a bear with my bare fist on Red Dead 1. I'll never forget when Mike screamed like it. He was um, one of them was running towards him, so he got his. He was like charging up like thingy from yeah. uh, Fallout, and then one off screen hit him from the side and started like raping him like in Revenant. It was so funny, <laughs> dude. I've no idea what your number one is. I know what you've missed. I know what you've it's said. It's already been said today. It's already been said today, and you've not. And you've. It's not. I've not said it. You've said it. Nightfire. No. Go on. Battlefront Two. Battlefront Two. Good man. Yeah, it's a perfect game, and it really is. The um, the space battles, the uh, bombers yeah. and stuff. The, it's so much better for me than the new ones. A, because it's a better gameplay-wise, and B, it focuses so much more on the prequels. 
mm. like Uta Pau and Magito and stuff. You could just knock her out with Kiadi Mundi and oh. Dude, we should we start looking into getting can we just go, back. Can we, can we just go and play some games? Yeah. I just want to go and play some games. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll get some dominoes and play some games. That sounds good.